It is so rewarding when one of your kids takes up the same hobby that you have. It's time that you can never get back. A father and daughter's Ozarks life passion is now getting some national attention. Inside a garage, a father and daughter created a special bond over some Bondo. It was nice. She always got into cars. As I was growing up, at night, at 7 o'clock, everything's closed, so you had to make your own memories, and Dad would always be in the shop working on an old car, so he'd be like, come on down. Many recognize Tag Kent as Tag Morris, the Miss Show Me Basketball runner-up from Blue Eye, who later played basketball at SMS and Evangel. You might not realize basketball was her second love. So everyone just assumed I was a gym rat all the time that I wasn't playing in a basketball game. But in all reality, I was spending all my time going and finding these uh, old cars with my dad and my granddad. When Tag was eight, her Sundays started with the classifieds and ended in a nearby state down some dirt road hauling a Mopar back home. And when we get there, you would not only get to see an old Mopar, you get a good story. Today, the love of hauling cars led to her creating Rytash, a line of tie-down straps. We just got our retail packaging in, and we'll be going into over a thousand store retail stores in the next six months. But Tag and Rusty are still buying and selling cars. They made fancier models than the Swinger. And with you business know, done online, you never know who is looking at those ads. Will you hold this until the next day at noon? And I was like, well, of course, you know, no problem. So he's like, I'm going to buy an airline ticket. When Tag, the guy said he got an airline ticket and, you know, I'm going to fly in, I said, well, now this is weird. I'm going to undo everything I did yesterday. It turned out to be a guy who worked for Roadworthy Rescues, a weekly show on the Motor Trend channel. And they wanted to buy this 1966 Coronet, but there was a catch. Hey, by the way, we're going to produce the whole film here on your property if you're okay with it. Derek Beery and Steve Dulcich and a nine-person film crew came to Christian County to shoot an episode. Steve and Derek both are very normal people. Yeah. They're not high profile. We uh, got lawn chairs out and we got to watch them, you know, redoing this whole car, which was awesome. For a couple of days, the pair caressed the coronet, trying to get the old gal going again. The show's interesting, the guy, yeah. he gets them running and he is very funny, but he can get probably about anything running. Derek even used a hatchet to bang the car into working condition. Tag caught the seized up coronet spinning dukes of hazard donuts in her field. Bucket list experience. This was awesome. But the bigger picture of this is my husband and I have a five year old daughter, and when she's my age, I want her to know that there were muscle cars and hot rod cars out there. You can catch Tag and Rusty's episode on Roadworthy Rescues Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, on the Motor Trend channel. If you're wondering, no, the uh, 69 Dodge Dart is not for sale. But Rusty just sold another car to someone in Australia. No word enough a TV show is going to be on the receiving end of that one.